what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel welcome back guys we are obviously still in our apartment um we wanted to kind of make a video and express some of our feelings today has been quite a day for us it today is... has been hell do y'all yeah. hear me yeah you see how we look <laughs> today's been hell yeah. like hell but yeah so it is December the 1st. Mm -hmm. We received an email last night at like 11... 11, 12. The 11, email 12. says, Hi, I hope that you are well. I'm sorry to report that the builder has reached out to me and we will be extending closing through January. The delay is due to supply chain issues and pretty much it continues to say that they are waiting for a supply. date. They're yeah. waiting for supplies and they're waiting for a date. So... As of today, this very moment, we don't have a closing date, guys. Um, like Chris said, today's December 1st. We were originally supposed to close on December 16th. So we, when we woke up this morning, we were, in the mindset that we were 15 days away from closing. Yep. You guys, our apartment is about 70, what is it about 70%? 70 to 80% packed. Like, mm-hmm. Legit. So, it, today has been a day, to say the least. Um, but we wanted to be real with you all. We know some of you all going through a house process. We know some of you are looking to build a house soon. And if nothing else, we decided, and I know you all heard us say this before, when we started doing YouTube, we wanted to be as transparent, as honest as possible with you all. So, we didn't want to wait until the weekend when we go see the house to then try to reflect back on our feelings. We wanted to get it out now. Right. So... This morning, we kind of woke up in a frenzy, to be yeah, honest with you. I think Chris like, woke up more in a frenzy than I did. Yeah, because I, I actually read the email in the middle of the night. At like I woke up randomly. I never wake up in the middle of the night. So I woke up at like maybe 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning and was just up, you know. And I looked at my phone, I read the email, and I was just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and and the I, thing I was is, just like, I can't wake Chelsea up. Yeah, he didn't tell me like nothing, y'all. Y'all know I work from home. Chris didn't tell me nothing. So by the time I wake up, Chris is just getting to work. So I wake up, you know, normally every morning he texts me, hey, baby, I made it to work. I love you. Have a great day. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, like yeah. I was thinking, like, I was like, after I read it, I was like, dang, he didn't even mention it to me. But then once he started telling me why he didn't, Chris handles stress way better than I do. <laughs> I'll admit it, he does. I don't handle stress well. I she does. I don't, she gets very frantic. Yeah, and stressed out. Mm -hmm. So I definitely tried my best not to let her. You know, I was just like, I was hoping that she just didn't see the email until I got to work. You know, but so of course when I seen the email, you know, we originally talked about it. Our minds, well, I don't know about Chris' mind, but I. Our minds did do the same thing as just I expressed it differently. <laughs> but yeah, my mind went like this. It went yeah. zoom, 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 zoom like, here, here, we were here, here. Just trying to figure out what's our next steps with literally everything. Every single because thing. Because I believe in the last video that we updated about the house, the surprise update, we mentioned that we actually had put in our notice, mm -hmm. our 30 day notice yep. at the rental office. Yep. So that was immediately the first thing we thought we're gonna about. Live. Exactly. Can we renege on a 30 day notice? We basically two weeks away from having to move out. So what now? You know, what what do we have to do to make sure that everything we put in place for this move is pushed back? Yep. Then I know we've mentioned before to you all that we have family coming in town. Yep. Our family was coming in town, what, nine days okay. after we closed? I mean, not nine days, seven days after we closed. Yeah. Our family was coming into town, so we had to call them. Luckily, my my side of the family hadn't bought plane tickets. They were going to drive down. So it was easier for them to just cancel out. Chris' side of the family had bought plane tickets already. So mm -hmm. we're still trying to figure out what they're going to do. Of course, we don't mind if they come either way. We would prefer they come when we're in the house. But at the same time, I think this is a bigger thing for me. I'm really, 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 really big on family. And I feel like we sacrificed to spend Thanksgiving alone with the hopes of us having Christmas, Christmas together. So it's right. like we're going to have two holidays back to by back ourselves. by ourselves. We have no room to put a tree up in here. We've never had a tree in here. So I don't know. I, those are the, the minimum, minimal things, but... It's big to us. Right. Yeah. So 
the family thing had to get rearranged. Had to cancel all the moving, moving truck and all that stuff. Then basically down to the nitty gritty of where we're going to live. So just to give y'all a little backstory, our complex made some policy changes to say the least. Um, where they don't allow you to be on a month to month for but More so than, long. Yeah. Right. Two months is their max. Chris and I have been on a month to month as of right now for six months. <laughs> um, they allowed us to go on month to month, um, with the understanding that we were moving. Right. Also, let's put a little, another little bug in your ear. We originally told them we would be gone by November. Yep. Because our builder was originally supposed to have us gone by November. But if y'all remember, back to our design appointment video, we gave y'all a whole rundown of everything that happened that pushed us from November to, to December. December. So, we had to go to the leasing office. Hey, guys, we know y'all say November, but we need the first week of December. Cool. Then we got pushed back to December 16th. Hey, guys, we need to go back to December 16th. Cool. Y'all, we can't keep doing this. <laughs> like, I'm laughing, mm -hmm. but it's, 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 it's like, so frustrating. Is, and I think what makes it worse now is after this extension that we're getting, that we're thankful that we are getting this extension with our rental office, we can't, that's the, that's, that's the, it. that's all that they can do. That's after all that, they can do. We have to be gone. So we're, we don't even have a closing date. So luckily the property manager extended it until um, the middle of January for mm -hmm. us. So originally they were trying to give us until the 30th of December which didn't make sense, but at the same time, we don't we have a ground to fight it. You got right. what I'm saying? Like, we don't have yeah. any room. Have we been the perfect tenants? Yes. Like, they have no complaints about us, no noise complaints. We never pay our bills late. Like, they have no complaints about us, but we cannot combat what their policy is, especially after they've already made two prior so yeah. exceptions for us. So... You know, when they said the 30th, me and Chris just like, like to okay, like, you know, like we didn't give them any pushback. Also, I remind y'all, me and Chris don't have family here. Mm -mm. It, it's just us. So, I mean, we oh, have a cousin man. here and I have a cousin that's like two hours away, but the cousin is two hours away is out of the, you know, out of the question because for work and our other cousin, she doesn't have the space for us to come. Yep. So... We didn't know what we was going to do, y'all. But luckily, like Chris said, the property manager came out. She did give us until mid-January. So we're hoping, because we have to be out of here by mid-January. But we don't know when our house is going to be ready. So we're hoping that we can be out of The house will be ready by mid-January. Yeah, because the only other options we had was to be out or to sign a lease. And, of course, we're not going to sign a lease because... The minimum lease they have is seven months. So it wouldn't make sense. For us to waste money. Mind you guys, we've already wasted <laughs> so much money because our lease was originally up in June. Yep. So had we known that we would still be here until January, we would have saved another, like, signed a seven-month lease. But we didn't because we were expecting to be out by November. And we have literally been paying them about $300 a extra. month extra every month yep. for month-to-month -month fees so for nothing, bad. basically. Yeah. A lot of things, nothing is in our court right now. Yeah, literally. Like, so. <laughs> it's like we just rolled them with the punches. And it's, it's very stressful. Like, this entire journey has been one hell of an emotional roller coaster. It's literally to been like this. And like it's this. like when it's up, it's up. When it's down, it's down. It's way down. <laughs> and it's like so many disappointments with this whole process. It's, it's very frustrating and stressful. Mm -hmm. because two days ago we received an email from the seller same person that sent us this email that everything was still on track we were still closing on the 16th and then we get this email what less than 48 hours later i think me and chris frustration is of course we know things happen especially with building new construction our realtor made that very clear to us from the beginning I think our frustration is the poor communication. We feel like, as we've said this in previous videos, we've given the builder ample amount of time to let us know what's what. Yeah. Our realtor has literally been emailing the seller, I would say maybe once a week since, like the last week in October. Yeah. 
making sure things were still on track. Every single time we get a yes, we get a yes, we get a yes, we get a yes, we get a yes. And even so. they sent out an email that they were having supply chain issues. And she asked again, and that was like two weeks ago. Yeah. She asked again, hey, does this affect, you know, their particular lot? No, no, everything is okay. So me and Chris' frustration is not that it happened because we understand that things, things happen. happen. It's right. the timing of when it happened. We feel like they kind of been new or they could have been foreseen this coming and they delayed it. And you we, know, it's like. They were given so many opportunities to say, hey, yes, we may have to. Even if you said may have to, okay, we would have planned accordingly. We would have held out on, you know, giving that 30-day notice or whatever and just bit the bullet of paying up another extra month or something, mm -hmm. you know, just to make sure that we were safe. You know, we were blanketed for it, but literally to find out just over two weeks, like, what, a day over two weeks before closing? Like, what if we were from out of town and all of our stuff was already shipping out? So we would have been without... You Thank know, God, y'all. Like, we it's literally... Just, it's a lot. At the last minute, decided not to go with movers. Like, we're we going with a... So what we decided to do was not go through a moving company and just rent, rent, rent movers, I guess you say. Hire movers. Hire movers, yeah. <laughs> Thank God we decided not to go through the moving company and just hire movers. Because who knows what money we possibly could have left, missed out on. I don't know if we would have had to. Like, they would only give us 10% back or they would have kept 10%. Or, like, we don't know. And thank God we're fortunate enough to be in a situation where money isn't an issue. But still, like, we... Y'all know how bad we want out. Y'all know how bad like, we want to be in our it's, house. It's very frustrating. Y'all know how bad like, we were expecting family to come down. We've mentioned it to y'all several times. It's like we're just sacrificing so much more over and over and over again. And to not have a date now, is this is probably the worst we felt mm -hmm. about the whole situation because we don't have a date. Mm -hmm. It's not like they said, okay, we pushed it back two weeks. We pushed it back, you know, three no, no, weeks we just back. We don't know. Beginning January, mid-January, end of January. We don't know. We don't know when we'll find out. So, like, like Chris said, I think this is, like, the worst we felt. I literally text Chris earlier and was like, I'm sick and tired of crying. I have not eaten all day. I feel defeated. Like, it's just like, it's just a feeling of it's emptiness. Like it's like we worked so fitness. hard to get here. Yeah. And it's like, as soon as we right across the finish line, it's like someone just put up a brick wall and was just like, stop. Yeah. You know? So, we're saying all this to say, to just be honest with you all, to just be open, to be transparent. We... I, we still know we're going to close. So we haven't lost all of our faith. Um, it, it's just hard right now, y'all. We just hit like a <laughs> we just hit like a wall. And like, and I like, think it's, it's harder for yeah. Chris because he's trying to keep me in good spirits. Yeah. So I think it, it's, it's harder really for harder him. Because it's like on top of me trying to be strong in the situation. Because, you know, it doesn't help for two people to just be, you know, down and out and, you know, feeling crappy. But... On top of me trying to be strong for everything, because we have no date, that means I have to sacrifice my birthday and, you know, our Christmas. This is the second year that we haven't spent anything on each other and gotten anything for Christmas for each other and really can't really do anything for everybody else like we normally do. It's so much that we're sacrificing because we have no idea when we would need to spend some money on the house or, you know, that sort of thing. So it's, it's a lot that we're sacrificing in this. It's hard, you know, because like she said, we are here by ourselves, basically, you know, as far as we don't have our parents. Let me tell y'all, so, if we was back home, we would have already put all this stuff in storage and what would our parents? Mm -hmm. What would Chris mama, my mama, my daddy, we would have had to go separate. We we would have made it work. We have plenty of friends, family, just like you all in your hometown, y'all surrounded by love. So that's the only thing that's kind of like, dang, I wish you were home, mm -hmm. but it's just like we know all of this is going to make a greater testimony once we get into our house. It's just hard right now. And like Chris said, with his birthday, it's throwing off his birthday like, plans. I'm about to be 30, y'all. It's, 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 it's very stressful, man. Like, And I then I also know. have to like take into consideration, like, I work from home. Because at first we were like, right. okay, what we're going to do come to 15th, we can't just like go stay in, in a hotel. hotel. Like, what are we going to do? But... Thank God that's figured out. But then, like Chris said, his birthday is interrupted. Y'all, I don't think I, we told y'all. Y'all know that I am having surgery, but my surgery is 
now so, up in the air. Like, we don't know what we're going to do about my surgery. It's a um, lot of questions right now. A lot of stuff is just unanswered. Yeah. So, we're trying to be very, I've been trying to be very optimistic about this entire thing. At least, you know, as soon as I read the email, like, my heart dropped, but immediately I just, you know, started thinking and just was like, you know, I have to be optimistic about it. I have to trust the process and, you know, we've come so far and I do not believe that this is the end of this whole road for us. So I'm trying to be as optimistic as I can and still be positive, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. So Yeah, so I mean... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, we don't know, guys. We don't know what's next. We don't know what's to come. We don't know when it's coming. Um, we're going to try to give the builder to at least Friday to give us some type of update as far as if he's received the date yet. Um, if not, we'll reach out then. But we don't know. We don't know if we should start unpacking again. We don't know if we should just live out of bags for the next month and a half. Like, we just don't know. Y'all know how excited I was Christmas tree? No, you got no way to put a Christmas tree. Y'all seen how I was prancing in that store. Y'all know I was happy as hell for my tree. And we got a way to put a tree. <sighs> Y'all, we went out and bought Christmas plates and Christmas cups we and for runners for the table for Christmas dinner. We went out and bought so much stuff to decorate the fireplace. It's that's disheartening. Like. <laughs> it is. It really is. Especially because we're so big on family. Like, y'all don't understand how excited I was for my family to come down here. Like, just us. We've never spent a Christmas with both of our families together. And in 13, 13 years? 13 years we've been together. We've never spent a holiday with both of our families all together. It's always morning here, evening here. So, we were excited to finally do that. Especially in our house. So, right. Hopefully, you know, we'll be in better spirits um, by the end of the week. Hopefully tomorrow is better than today. <laughs> That's the only thing we can hope for at this point, y'all. But we do hope that you all, we know it's a few of you all who were closing around the time that we were. So we're hoping and praying that everything is still on track for you all. Um, we hope that y'all be in y'all houses by Christmas, yes. by the end of the year. We can't wait to see y'all comment. Be like, we close, we in there. <laughs> I can't right. wait. I can't wait for you. You know, our Florida friend to tell us about how her kids felt when they closed on before Christmas. So I'm excited. I'm excited for y'all. Chris is excited for y'all. Um, we don't want y'all to lose y'all excitement for us because little do y'all know, y'all keep us going. Oh, yeah. Like, y'all, every time we read y'all comments, we just like, dang, you know, they got this or they got that or they yeah. got close or, you know, they gave us this knowledge. So, we definitely don't want this to damper any of you all spirits, any of you all moves, you know. Y'all are still going to accomplish everything you all have to accomplish and... We'll continue to keep y'all updated. Yeah. I know we keep saying it's the last video, last video. Y'all might get a house update this weekend. <laughs> right. Y'all might because now we don't know. I mean, we still, we got a lot going on that we ain't showed y'all. So, y'all might be able to get a house update this weekend. We haven't decided if we're going to do it how we started doing or if we're just going to go and then come tell y'all. We haven't decided yet, but y'all been rocking it out with us. So, yeah. Y'all might get a house update this weekend. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see. Y'all. Yeah. Let me tell y'all one last thing before we end the video. Let me tell y'all how the Lord look out for us. And we praying for this person too. When we went to the leasing office, by the grace of God, the only reason this was able to work for us as far as them extending us to mid-January is because someone came in and applied for the unit that we're in now. Because they already had put our unit up for, up for grabs because we gave them a 30-day notice. The person who applied for our unit got denied. They now, we're praying. Today. They, they applied today. today. December 1st, today. They, they applied today and got denied. So, we're praying that they do they get. Find yeah, we're praying that they find somewhere. They find somewhere safe. They found somewhere they love. You know, they find somewhere that just pretty much tops anything they had expected for this place. So, we definitely. You know, are still praying for them and wanting them to have the best outcome. But we said it to say, even when. We don't know where things is going. Even when we look so defeated and we feel so defeated and we don't know which way to turn. It's always something. It's always going it's it's gonna work out. Yeah. It's gonna work out. And that's just what we don't want you all to forget. 
it's gonna work out no matter what situation you're going through. Patience. Oh Patience. <laughs> it's okay to cry, y'all, because I cried like a baby this morning, okay? I cried my mother. <laughs> Mom, she was like, don't cry, don't cry. And I was like, but mom. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's okay to cry, y'all. It's okay. Just know it's going to get better. We hope we can see y'all with another house update soon. <sighs> yeah. All right, y'all. So we'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for your love and support. We really appreciate y'all. Y'all keep us going. So be looking out for the next video. Cause the journey continues.